tear off yesterday from my motivational calendar. Today says, dreams plus hard work equals success. Okay, so this new job is the hard work which will eventually yield success. I can deal with a little hard work. I get up, shower, dress. I picked out my outfit last night. After trying on every piece of clothing in my closet, I settled on the most conservative professional outfit I own. Beige pants and an orange shirt, accented with a red scarf. The pants make my legs look really long and skinny, like Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas, and they end right above my shoes, which feels weird. But whatever, they are beige, and beige is professional, and today, being professional is more important than being cute, so it's okay. I stand on the toilet to see my legs in the mirror. Wow, I look terrible. Most days, I try not looking like a geek. Oh well, too late now. The biggest perk of being a security officer is getting to be alone. So when I walk into the miniature trailer we call a guard shack and see two guards, I'm pissed. This is my chance to get paid to write books, not to entertain a stranger or find busy work so they don't rat me out to a higher up. Our motto is do what you want discreetly. Our parent company doesn't mind us finding ways to stay alert, but the site acquiring our services wouldn't be keen on paying $10 an hour to employees watching Netflix, even if they complete their task on time and monitor the camera feed every five minutes. Introduction Bloke Dear soon-to-be-married bloke, Congratulations! Welcome to your bog. I'm assuming you're reading this book on the toilet because your nearly wife has left it here for you. She's pretty clever, isn't she? Taught her everything I know. I hope you don't feel any less testicular for reading a book about weddings, but think of it this way. Unless you're in the habit of bringing your mates to the bog for moral support, none of them will ever know about this. Grimm gave several sibilant barking sounds, what might have passed for throaty laughter. The door at the other end of the airlock had a strange insignia, like a crowned star with rays that formed stars. Mira touched it with her gloved fingertips. Some kind of crest, maybe? Yeah, Aya nodded. The more I see it, the more I am convinced this is some kind of royal craft. Why is it abandoned, though? It doesn't seem to have been attacked. She narrowed her eyes, at least from the outside. Mira turned to Aya. Can you crack it, or do we need Giles to force it? Aya was already entering commands into a wrist-mounted computer. Well, computer was too light a term. 